Alright guys, today we're going to be fixing this broken wall outlet. And this could happen uh, when people pull on the plugs from different directions, from like a vacuum cleaner, and they try and yank it out from afar, and it broke the plastic part of the outlet. Alright, first of all guys, you're going to need a voltage tester. I got this one off of Amazon. If you don't have one of these, you could use a multimeter. It'll work just fine. It's pretty self-explanatory. You have a light and uh, two probes, one positive, one negative. It doesn't really matter which way you stick it in the outlet, the light will turn on if the outlet is powered. First off, you need to shut off the power at the circuit breaker, and then you need to test and make sure that there is no power at the outlet. Now, since this light is not lighting up, there is no power here. Like I said before, you could use a multimeter and check as well. Then you need to remove the faceplate with a flathead screwdriver. So you can see here how, how it's broken. It's pretty dangerous to leave it this way. Once that's done, go ahead and remove the outlet from the wall box using a Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and pull out the outlet with all the wires. Then you're going to remove all the wires from the old outlet. You might need a set of uh, needle nose pliers to bend some of the wires. Now this type of outlet has these little holes that um, hold the wire in with uh, friction. So I'm just going to cut the wires because I don't want to deal with, uh, with trying to get it out. Once you have all your wires, go ahead and use a wire stripper to strip off some of the insulation. Just put the wire on the correct hole, squeeze, and then pull. It'll leave your wire stripped. Get your new outlet and uh, put the, the wires in there. So the black goes on one side and the white goes on the other. If it's a little long and you don't like it, you could always trim, trim off the, the wire. Use the Phillips head screwdriver to tighten it down. Uh, with your bare grounding wire, uh, you could use your pliers and put a little loop in it, like so and that'll go around your green screw on the outlet. Once all the wires are connected, you're just gonna shove the wires back into the box. They're kind of stiff and you want the screws to line up with the holes in the outlet box. Once that's done, it's time to put your face plate back on. And then you gotta turn the power back on at the breaker box. And then uh, use your tester to make sure the outlet has power. That's all there is to it. Uh, no need to hire an electrician, it is very easy.